Vikram and Betal's stories the three princes Betal again started speaking listen now i tell you a story just to pass time listen to it betal started his story and vikramaditya listened to it betal said the princess of magadha desha chandralekha was very beautiful as she grew up many princes founded to marry her but she refused to marry anyone then one day her mother the queen asked do you want to marry or not yes i will marry but only when i will get an appropriate boy mother again asked her, so there is no appropriate boy for you among them no then who will be the appropriate boy for you who is the mighty and can protect his wife mother said okay then only you decide to whom you want to marry the princess agreed after some time a prince came with a marriage proposal the princess asked what is your unique strength the prince said i can see past present and future the princess didn't reply him anything after that another proposal came the princess asked him the same question he said i have a chariot which can run anywhere on water in air on road i have built it myself after that another proposal came and the princess asked him the same question he said i have a sword who is hit never misses and nobody can save themselves from it some other proposals also came but the princess was unable to decide between the first three princes her mother was very worried with this princess told her mother she would tell her decision the very next day the king announced that the princess decision will announce it the next day and invited the three princes to the palace on the next day the three princes were present in the palace hall the first prince name was virendra the second one's name was udayavir and the third one's name was dananjaya the princess came to the hall and asked them to wait in the meantime the princess got disappear everybody got worried about the princess as all the prince was present there virendra was asked to tell where she was he did some calculations and told that a rakshas had fallen in love with her beauty had taken her and kept her in his palace in amaravati hills he told the way to reach up to the palace and drew the map also of that palace at this udayavir said i can take you right to his palace by my chariot dananjaya said nobody can save him from my sword now virendra and dananjaya sat on the udayavir's chariot and it soon came to the place of the rakshas virendra said the princess is in her room and crying and the rakshas will be killed by dananjaya all the three attacked on the rakshas dananjaya killed him with only one hit of his sword as he was killed his maya palace also vanished and the three brought the princess back now all started claiming the princess virendra claimed if he had not drawn the map both could not find the princess udayavir claimed that if he did not have the chariot those two cannot be able to reach the destination and dananjaya claimed that if he had not killed the rakshas the address and the chariot couldn't do nothing that is why the princess was his all were right in their own ways but when the princess was asked she told that she was obliged to all of them they should decide among themselves now tell who is right to our princess vikramaditya thought for some time and said the princess should be of dananjayas because whoever is mighty only he has the right the rakshas was killed by dananjaya only he is true husband who protects his wife you are right saying this betal again laughed heartily and ran away from the king's shoulders and hung upside down from the same tree the king vikramaditya again got very angry at this he took out his sword followed him took him from the tree put him on his shoulder and started walking i hope you guys like this story if you want more interesting stories from my channel please do like share comment and subscribe to chinnarikadalu thank you so much